Please stop doing that. <laughs> they glued those to Imelda's locker? Start calling her the bee boop girl. Bee boop, bee boop. <laughs> you know, yeah, thanks a lot for those energy drinks. I told totally drink six of them. I can't believe I did that to her. Do these feel real? No, they don't. How would you know? Are you an idiot? I've been feeling up girls since I was in kindergarten. I should talk to Imelda. Yes, you should call her. That's what you should do. Who have you ever felt up? I can't call her. I totally humiliated her and me. It's dialing already. It's too late. I'm not doing it, dude. It's ringing. Dude. Who have you ever felt up? I have felt up plenty of girls. So it's just none of your business. So just, just... Name one. I decline on the grounds that a gentleman oh, never kisses please. and tells. I'm a gentleman. OK, feel mine. What? No. I can't come to the phone right now. Are you scared? No. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Stop it. Would you Are you just trying to kill me? Would you stop it? Just stay over there. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Wait, I think you're going to bite you? No. Would you get out of freak? Boobophobe. Can we not hang out with her anymore? Please? And up above us all Leaning into sky a golden business boy will watch the north end die and sing I love this town then let his arcing wrecking ball proclaim I hate Winnipeg And the water, so clear. Mm. And the beach, immaculate. They have excellent groundskeepers on our property. Thank God they're allowed to carry guns. There are some good things about the United States. <sighs> well, that's, that's great. It is. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't have people checking all the time, you have squatters come, and then you have squatters on your beach, and who wants that? Oh, that's terrible. It's 16472. So where are you and Jack off to this winter, Clara? Oh, she's divorced, Ruth. Oh, Europe then? Ma'am, your card's been declined. All right, sorry. How's Rebecca? Oh, she's great. She rushed Sigma Kappa Pi at Queens, and oh, you know she's a lesbian now. No, no, I did not know that. Uh huh. I don't think it'll stick, but she's making some very important connections. Oh, this one too. Sorry. Right. Um, let me, let me just pay cash. That's five. Another five. Airpoints, please. Oh boy, Clara. Drugstores are one thing, but this is something else. Oh, sweetie, let me help you. Oh, Sam will never go for it. It's just 25000 I have it. It is no big deal for me. Well, let me talk to him. Did you, uh, did you get the toilet paper? Uh... Sam, Clara has something to ask you. Uh-huh. Sam, Anne is my sister. Right, I know that. Josh and Sheldon, I love very, very much. Mm-hmm. You're a driving school without any cars, Sam. No. Jack and I just settled our divorce. You're having a tough time. No, thank you. I can write a check for 25000 right now. I see. But let me tell you something. I am a businessman. And I live in the business world, and I choose to remain a businessman in the business world, and I choose to keep my affairs in the business world. So, therefore, I will not accept Jack's money. It is my money. I will not accept Jack's money when I can solve the problem myself. Well, when, Sam? When are you going to solve the problem? Because I can't take much more of this. See what you've done? You've upset my wife. I'm upset because I can feel us sinking. All I ever think about is money and not having any. We need some. We, we need a solution. Honey, uh, I actually do have a few business meetings today with various entrepreneurs who are in a position to lend capital. All right? So. I'll be at Uzi's. I can't come to the phone.
phone right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll get back to you soon. Hello, Imelda. This is Sheldon Blecher. I'm calling about the incident at the top of the class match. My behavior was reprehensible, immature, and perhaps unforgivable. Okay, look, um, sorry, uh, I, uh, I, I, I need to talk to you face to face because your answering machine, well, you, anyway, well, sorry, uh, it's, it's me talking now. I need to apologize to you in person, um, because, you know, I'm, I'm, like, you, I'm at home because, um, I'm, I'm hiding, so. So cold, so cold. hate Winnipeg. Do five K though, negative splits, pretty decent. Hate Winnipeg. Your shoes. Oh yeah, sorry, I'm not in the zone. Oh. Sorry. sorry. Oh. You make me a sandwich, Ma. He is unbelievable. What? Josh, there are a hundred million things going on in this house. I can't just stop everything for you. I just asked for a sandwich. Should I hit him? All right. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you chickies to your space. Hmm, maybe we don't need space, Josh. Maybe we could use a little help. <sighs> Fine, I'll make my own sandwich then. Do you realize that your brother is upstairs in his room and he has not left all day and he's been skipping school? Does he know that I'm hungry and need a sandwich? Oh. Oh, what the f You go on up there and you talk to Sheldon and you give him some brotherly advice. Why? Help him. Okay. Don't do anything. You just keep on being the sort of person that I always try to tell people that you are not. Fine. All right. Look at this. Boozy, I was wondering if I could hold this booth for a couple of hours. I have a few business meetings. Sure, of course. Oh. Who was that guy? He used to come around here once in a while, the guy with the comb over and he had arthritis. He used to lend money to people. Jules. Jules, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is he now? They fished his body out of the river in the spring. Why? I never mind. Okay. Please go away. All right, all right, all right. This is all about that Imelda thing, right? Yes, and I don't want to talk about it. All right. I'm going to try to relate to you, despite your plumpness, bro to bro here. Please don't. Bro, bro, listen, OK? Granted, your first taste of boob could have happened under better taste circumstances. Taste of boob. I mauled her publicly. Should have gone to jail. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bro, first time's always awkward. First time I got some titty, me and Carly Smith got plastered off of grape juice and a little something from Romania. And you publicly embarrassed her? No, we got staggering drunk. She fell in a ditch, puked, and then started crying. So I felt her out. Wow, spare not the romance. Hey, I was 12. We all fumbled first time out. Feel better? Oh, this is incredible. I know, I know, we're broke. No, actually, you're not. Not entirely, anyway. What? Do you realize there's like $3,000 in unpaid invoices here? And I found an old bank account with a couple of grand in it. How, how can this be? I, I prepared these for the audit. Really? Yeah. Well, no offense, honey, but this is a mess. D does it mean we don't need money? Oh, no, 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 you still need money. But you also need a bookkeeper. Hey. Hey, Walter, you look good. I appreciate you coming. What's that for? From now on, I'm taping all our conversations. Why would you tape our conversations? Sorry, Sam, I'm just trying to protect myself. Protecting yourself from what? It's insurance in case this whole thing goes south. South? What do you mean south? South, yes. Please, don't do that anymore. Well, why would you tell me you're taping me? Well, you're my friend. Well, if I'm your friend, why would you tape me in the first place? To protect myself. Are you even listening to me? Look, Walter. I have to ask you a favor. Shoot. I, 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 I want to borrow some money. Now, I've given you a lot of money under the table for the last few years, and I just wanted to know if... Could you speak a little louder? 
I've given you a lot of money under the table over the past few years, and I, I just thought that maybe, you know, you could just give something back. I need some money, Walter. No, Sam, I have no money to lend you at this time. Well, oh, man. <laughs> There's not even a tape in here. Now, now, that is funny. Hold on, I'll get another tape. You can ask me that again. I'll say no again and... See if we can get something. Do you and Josh have a talk? Feeling better, honey? Did you guys send him to talk to me? Well, sort of. Oh, well, mission accomplished. Oh, by the way, is there a grapefruit knife? I just want to claw my eyes out. Old pal, hey, sit down, sit down for a second. I, I want Sam, I can't lend you any money. Uh, uh, all right, give me a, give me a refill. That I can do. Put the, put the lunch on my tab, maybe. Your tab? Yeah. Okay. Sam, remember when my dad died? I almost lost the restaurant. Yeah. Do you know who I went to for help? Who? Rabinowitz. The rabbi? The rabbi. He set up a gemach. Gemach. It's a community thing. It's like uh, an interest-free loan. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I ain't getting no gamachs from the rabbi. <laughs> That's for sure. He, he, he thinks that Ann tried to burn down the synagogue. And I had words with him. It's not... Uh, uh. Sam, what are you going to do? You need the cars. I'm going to have to go to the family. And that's... That's not... Oh, hey! Woo-woo! I won ten bucks. Things are looking up. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> right. I'll take it off your tab. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what you doing, bro? What do you want now? You're still not cheered up. Huh? Okay. It is my duty, as your brother, to pull you out of this funk. Porn? Yeah. Put it on the computer. I don't want to watch porn with you. Well, it was mom's idea. Mom so... told you to give me porn? Well, it wasn't one of her exact words. Come on, put it on. I don't want to watch porn. Dude, I'm trying here, okay? D cup delirium. It's a classic, okay? Put it in. You might learn something. I'll get it. Imelda. Hi. So you've been hiding? Yeah, well, I haven't really, um, felt up to school. Not felt up. You wanted to talk? Yeah. <sighs> okay, the boob thing. Um, I am so... I accept upset. your apology. That's it? Yeah, listen, Sheldon, um... It's my dad that's the real problem. I can't have any contact with you. What? I just came here to tell you myself. Um, I have to quit the top of the class team. I'll get it! But I, I need you. I'm on the team. Where's my daughter, Anne? Oh, my God, it's my dad. Where is she? I know she's here. George, can't we talk about this? Your son molested my daughter. Conversation over. Molested? Oh, Amy would never have reacted Amy like this. Amy is dead, Anne. But you didn't come to the funeral, so perhaps you've forgotten. Dad! Anak, ibalik ikaw sa kuchina. O ikaw ko lang ikaw. Intende? George, let's have a cup of tea and we'll talk. Mr. Amahe, just give me one you, second to explain. You should be arrested. George, you and Sam weren't speaking to each other. That's why we didn't go to the funeral. I didn't want you there. I didn't want you there. But you should have come. Mr. Amahe! No, let it go. Leave me alone. I have an idea. Please tell me it doesn't involve porn. No. Amahites are going to a big social this weekend. How do you know that? 
A friend of mine works at the Filipino Community Center. Well, friend, I'm nailing her. What's the idea? Go to that social. Why? So that you can walk up to George Amaheat and look him right in the eye. Yeah? And kick him in the nuts! <laughs> you know, Josh, you may just have half a good idea there. Yeah, I know. What? You want to kick him in the nuts somewhere else? No, the, the other half. Okay. Ow! Ow! Sheldon! Idiot! All right, I, I, I decided I'll, I'll take the 25,000. 20. What? I found over 5,000 just by shuffling your paper around, Sam. What are you talking about? I've seen your books, Sam. You've seen my books? You let her look at my yes, books? I... And Sam, I am not talking about just a loan anymore. Oh, oh, I see. What, what are you talking about? Well, she's offering to invest in us, like, to be a partner. And she's going to pay off all her old debts. She's going to get our cars out of hock. Sam, I know you are going through a hard time right now. And I want you to know that I truly respect all the hard work that you have done. But I think I can bring a fresh perspective. I mean, look at all that I did for Jack's business. I mean, I did sales, marketing, accounts. And I know we've had our problems in the past, but I think this would be a nice chance for us to have a fresh start. What do you say? Go to hell. Get out of here. Sam. If they were to put your brain in a dog's head, the dog would be noticeably stupider. Now get out of the house. That is it. Get out. No, don't go. No, no, just don't get go. out. No, no, I've had it. Now don't go back. Give me, no. Have you seen our bill? Look, the mortgage, credit cards, gas, hydro. We're drowning. We need help. Sam, nobody likes you. I have friends in town. In jail, yes. In town, no. That's not true. Oh, you want the truth? <laughs> if I put your name forward as a candidate for the Gamach, the board would laugh at me. Baruch and I are looking at You mean to... Uh, you Sam, mean to Sam, say... Sam, Sam. I'm doing the Baruch. Oh, sorry. Baruch Amen. So what you're saying is, you don't think there's a Jew in the city who would be willing to help me? Are you surprised by that? Can I be blunt, Sam? You've burned a lot of bridges, and your wife has burned everything else. That's not fair. Don't, don't talk now, about my wife. As your rabbi, like I would like to do something for you. But you've never participated in anything with the synagogue. I am a member of this temple paid in full. Sam, my don't you get it? You can't buy your way in. Be a good Jew. Be a good Jew? What do you mean, be a good Jew? What does that mean, be a good Jew? Seriously, what does that mean, define a good Jew? Not you. OK, Sam, I've got a service, so uh... You just hate my guts, huh? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you do. I don't. That's all right. You hate me, yeah, admit yeah. it. You hate me, confirm. I hate you. Yeah, I know, I know that. You're a rabbi, you're not supposed to hate. I'm also a man, Sam. Yeah, OK, why do you hate me so much, Because rabbi? you've never given me any reason to like you, because you're selfish, greedy, egotistical, temperamental, abusive, and prideful. You really think uh, I should go on? OK, OK, I know, I'm not a good Jew. I've got my issues, OK? But I've come here as a Jew. I have come here for help. And nothing, nothing. You ask? For help, Sam. Doesn't always mean you get it. Okay, just follow my lead. Once we get in there, it's all about the Pakiki Sama, okay? Got it. Pakiki Sama, George and the Nuts. No, okay, listen. I did a little research. Pakiki Sama is a Filipino custom. It's all about smooth social interaction, not nut kicking. Yeah, well. No, 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 no. Okay, listen. Okay, I'm gonna go walk right up to George and I'm gonna settle this with him face to face. According to the custom, he can't go ballistic. He's gotta be pleasant in front of the community, even if it kills him, okay? Yeah, well, we'll see. Hold it. Private function. No, I have to go in there. Double up, big guy. Private. Come here. Let me take care of this. No, Josh, no. Hey, I'm from Toronto. I know how to get into a party, okay? Josh! Hey, man. Hello. Look. My brother here, he's got a crush on a girl. She means everything to him, and she's inside. This is about romance, my friend, okay? And a kid, just trying to follow his heart. Well, I guess I can, you know I could. Look, oh! 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 What the hell are you oh! doing? What 
is wrong with you? Hey, hey like that. Come on. Come on. Hello? Yeah, Clara, it's Sam. What do you want? Uh, I, 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 you know, I, I was thinking, and it's, uh, you know, it's possible that I'd, I'd be open to uh, speaking with you uh, regarding, uh, you know, what we had discussed before. Are you drunk? No, I'm not drunk. No, I, I'm not drunk. I, I just wanted to, why, why don't you just buzz me up and, and we can talk, please. What are you doing here? Drama heat. Atanagi pag panao no inyong pinaka mamahal na asawa. Taus pusapo kaming nakikira mai sa inyong at sa inyong manak na nasa tang muli patawad po. Someone so short could run so fast, a little <laughs> Filipino grease lightning. Worth it though, right? Kick George in the nets? No, what is wrong with you? Sheldon, are you. <laughs> what a waste, man. Sheldon, sweetheart, wake up. Come on, you gotta get dressed, we're going to shore. What? It's Shabbos, we're going to shore. What? Not good Jews. Come on, get dressed. Well, what about breakfast? Well, first we'll go to shore, and then we'll come home with that bacon and eggs, OK? okay. But come on, let's go. Get dressed. <sighs> He's in a better mood. Thank you, Mahula. Oh, let's go. Let's move it on out. The shoe train. Let's go, partner. Don't push it. 